Hello, this is Nightmare, the most feared player of Kingdom 785. So I'm about to tell you the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth about this game. A lot of you are being lied to. And scammed. Out of your money. So I'm going to tell you why I don't do KVK. I'm going to tell you why I don't bother attacking other kingdoms. And Sir Elias. And why the only thing I do is come out on kingdom. So first of all, you have to understand that spending money in this game is bad. All they care about is taking money from people. That's their whole goal in this game. All King Babylon cares about is your money. They want your money. So I always do these patches that bring out new equipment that costs money. And later down the road, the stuff becomes cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Then eventually everything winds up for free in your Alliance store, or in the Magic Spire, or in Merlin Trials. Seriously, this Water Drake manuscript, people spent $1,200 for this to get them all when it was first released. Now look, it's free. Same with this. Someone spent 1200 bucks to get all Genesis statues. Now it's free. Someone spent 1200 bucks to get all Torrent Senate Scrolls. Now it's free. This is why I spend very little on this game. All the stuff you spend for is free. A few months later. It's a money grab. It's a money scam. Sure, you might be top dog for three months. But then people get the stuff for free later on anyway. So you're throwing your money away. If you do spend, you better play the game every single day for three months straight before the stuff becomes free because everyone else catches up to you. Then once you start spending, you can't stop spending. So let's say I spent for these water drakes. If I stop spending after I bought these, someone will later on get it for free. And the only way I can get ahead of them is if I spend again for the next manuscript, which would be the Lionheart. So once you start spending, you can't stop spending. Because otherwise, the free-to-play players catch up. Because if you spend for this, then it becomes free. The free players can get it. You can also get it, but wait, you already have it. So you can't stay ahead of the free-to-play players. You have to keep on spending. That's the truth about this game. Once you start spending, you can't stop spending. Otherwise, you fall behind. Then you're just a normal person. So spending is bad. Unless if you play the game like non-stop and get the most out of it before it becomes free. So now, why don't I do Kingdom vs. Kingdom? Well, because you're fighting other kingdoms they are probably never going to see ever again. And you're losing troops, losing resources. You have to train the troops back. Cost resources. Then you're making some random kingdom lose their troops, but you'll probably never see them ever again. And sure, you get these knight titles, but guess what? These are all garbage titles. These titles probably used to be given the game was first released. But now, the way stats are working, plus 10% troop attack is absolutely nothing. They have to overhaul these knight titles and boost these increases massively to make them even be worth anything. Because plus 10% troop attack when I already have like 4,000, what good is that going to do? Absolutely nothing. And yeah, sure, you get royal packages, right? So one guy gets a conqueror pack. You get 150 royal badges. Maybe take over two kingdoms, you get two of those. Maybe three kingdoms, you get three of them. 150 Nola badges. That sounds good, but guess what? Sorry to burst your bubble here. But these noble badges will seriously be absolutely free to get once they release Stronghold 50. You might think it's not coming, but it is coming. They're going to have Strong 50 come out. What happens when Strong 50 comes out? There's going to be like Emperor badges or God badges or something that can be used to upgrade level 46 or higher buildings. It'd be like God badges. Then the God badges will replace all of these packs for the KVK. So we'll be able to get Royal badges from the Alliance Celebration. Once Strong Fitty is released, you get royal badges right here. And also, they'll probably drop the price on royal badges massively in the 
store. So right now they have some events where they sell you the royal badges in the store. And they have noble badges in the store. Like non-stop. Well guess what? Once they have the god badges, they're going to have royal badges in the store. Non-stop. And they'll be super cheap. But it'll be free in the Alliance store and the Alliance spirit altar. Plus I'll give out royal badges for some of the events. Like I'll give out noble badges in some events. We'll get royal badges. It'll be way easier to get once Strong 50 is released. So this is why I don't care about KVK. Sure, you might get slightly ahead. But you have to fight and lose troops to get slightly ahead. Eventually, it'll all be free down the road anyway. Because there's going to be so many Strong 45 players, they're going to have to come out Strong 50. It's only a matter of time. It's bound to happen. They have to do it. Otherwise, the game will get boring for the big spenders. They'll stop playing the game because it'll get boring. They have to have Strong 50. Once Strong 50 comes out, and that one fifty percent off event where you can upgrade your buildings to 35 for half off. They'll have you go to 40 for half off. That's right. Level 35 to level 40 will be half off in that store. Then they'll also have the royal badges in that store, super cheap. Cheaper than they are now. And they'll have the god badges, which will be the most expensive thing. So that stuff always comes out costing money. It's hard to get. Then time passes. It's free to get. Easy to get. This is why I don't take the game seriously. I don't spend seriously. I don't take KVK seriously because I know all the stuff will be free to get down the road anyway. You just have to wait long enough. It's only a matter of time. Now Sir Lias. Why don't I cross the blue line in Sir Lias? Well because if another kingdom gets your coordinates, they're going to put your coordinates in chat. And only the strongest players are going to attack you. That's how the game works. There's like no one to attack in Sir Lias. Only the strong players hang out in Sir Lias when they know no one's going to, going to attack them. Then if you go to Sir Lias, they put your cords in Kingdom Chat, the absolute strongest players can come in and hit you. And obviously you're going to win because they spend $50,000 in the game. Sir Lias is a joke. Now in the last few days of Sir Lias, they're going to have like a free-for-all, and all the walls are going to drop down. So everyone will be open to attack. That's when you go in and start attacking people, but even then, they can still post their course in chat, and have the absolute strongest player come in and attack you. Just the way it is. So Sir Lias is a joke. It's just a scam to take your money. They want you to fight each other, lose troops for like no reason. Where are the rewards? What do you get? And Sir Lias... If you rank 1 out of every single kingdom in Sir Elias, you get a whole 27,000 gold. Is that supposed to be a big number? If you spend $100 in the game, you get 30,000 gold. The rank 1 players spend like $50,000. They have 27,000 gold. Trust me. It's not crap. The 2,500 Philosopher's Stones, again, the big spenders already have that stuff. Who's going to be rank 1? The big spenders. They already have this stuff. Why would they care? These rewards are garbage. The people that are going to place in these rankings already have all of this. The gold is useless. The speed ups are a joke. 360 speed ups for being rank 1. You get that in like half a day of Merlin Trials. Then these skins, they're not even permanent skins you get. These are temporary skins. Who the hell wants to fight for a temporary skin? Make it permanent. This Relias event is a joke. All you get is 100 royal badges for being rank 1 after like 3 months or 2 months of fighting. So you're telling me I have to fight for 2 months straight and be rank 1 out of 4 kingdoms and all I get is 100 royal badges. You seriously get more than that in the kingdom vs. kingdom. And that only lasts for like 8 hours. So who gives a shit about 100 royal badges? Nobody. The fence is a joke. It's a money grab. It's a scam. I refuse to participate in scams. If the rewards are like a hundred times they were right now, I might participate. But as I sit, it's useless. These rewards are a joke. For being Alliance rank 1 out of all the kingdoms, all you get is 55 noble badges. You seriously get that from like three days of the Spire loot. And again, you get a march, but guess what? 
It's temporary. It's not even permanent. All you get is 3,000 gold. Who gives a shit? You spend $1, you get 3,000 gold. You get that for free from the other war. You get 5,000 gold in another war from the package thing. And the cannon rewards are the worst thing. It's a joke. So yeah, Slice is a scam, money grab, designed to make you waste troops, waste your time. You get no rewards. Cannon Kingdom again, it's the same exact thing. It's a money grab, it's a scam. Get you to fight, waste troops. Those royal badges you get for rewards, that would be free to get and easy to get once Stronghold 50 is released. It's only a matter of time. It's KVK bad. It's Relias bad. What does that leave you with? Attacking your own kingdom. Getting resources really fast. Why spend for resources when you can attack your own kingdom and get them super easy? Why have 10 farm accounts if you can have some other guy in your kingdom have 10 farm accounts? Then you attack their farm accounts instead. Make them do the work for you. You walk in, take the resources within like one second. They have to spend days and days building the castle. Clicking all the buttons. You just walk in, attack them one time. Get it all super easy. So having farms is bad. Just let some other retard make the farms. You attack their farms. It's way easier. That's how I play the game. That's why I play the way I play. This is the truth about King of Avalon.